So it's 48 hours to Guy Fawkes night. Gary, we need a bit of fireworks to light up United's Champions League campaign and to light up Paul Scholes' face, of course, as well. Back to you. I think those comments alone have lighted up his face, lit up his face, I should say. What, Paul, you've been quite critical of Manchester United and, and since then they've been down to three goalless draws. So there must be an occasion where you go, told you so. No, no, I'm not like that. <laughs> Look, I, I, I want to sit, sit here and see United blast teams away, be brilliant attacking football, um, have players with creativity, players who get the, on, on the edge of your seat. I, I, I want to see that from Manchester United, but it's not happening. What you know, what you have been seeing is a, a team that are brilliantly coached defensively. Um, you said a minute ago about Manchester City. Well, that's what you've got to be at times. Yeah, you have mm. against Barcelona, Bayern Munich, <laughs> Juventus, Real Madrid. Not Crystal Palace, not Middlesbrough at home, or CSK Moscow. Oh, or, or CSK in Moscow at home, or away for that for that matter. Look, these, these are tough games. I'm not saying, you no, know, these these are dummies. These teams, you know, the 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 decent sides, but. United fans need to see something. Need to see. How do, how do they change it, though, Paul? How do you how you become more attractive? What what, what do they it's, do? Well, it's it's very difficult to coach attractive football. It's very difficult to. No, I, I was lucky enough to play with players that you give the ball and they can beat five men. They can ram a ball in the top corner. Players who can beat people, quick players. I just don't see that in this team. Uh, whether it's whether Van Gaal doesn't allow them, doesn't give them the confidence to do that. I just don't don't know it. It's just a a sideways, mm. possession, boring style of football. And you, you have to say, does he have a problem with forward players? Players that can beat people. Look at the players that, that, that have gone, that he's let go. You talk of Van Persie, um, Welbeck, Chikorito, Yanazai, Di Maria. Do you know what? I'd love to see these players at the club now. Yeah. I look at the bench on Saturday, not one centre forward. Not yeah. a centre forward on the bench. Yeah. It brings Ashley Young on, it brings him on at right back. Yeah. And I think Ashley Young is one of the best players last year. Great, can, can beat a man, great crosses into the box. OK, probably not everybody's all Man United's favourite player, but he, he tries stuff, he, he, he can be creative. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we talk about Rooney, he's, he's getting all the stick, but... Is he getting the service? Is, he get, is uh, it I his I, fault? I, I don't think anybody would score goals in this team as a centre-forward. I think Sergio Aguero, I think he'd struggle. Just, just, he's getting nothing from midfield, he's, there's, there's no wide players, he's getting no service whatsoever. And I, w I watched him for the first 20 minutes in the Manchester Derby, he's moving, he's, he's looking really sharp, and the ball is just not coming to him, and eventually you get bored. Well, you've hogged that section completely, Sorry. but that's fine. Uh